Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your love reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you Virgo for blessing. Let's start this over. Thank you God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. <laughs> Okay, you're only like the 10th reading I've done today. Okay, let's get into it. All right, fortune coming up. Okay, so you're fortunate. Your fortune has changed. You have more than enough money. Waiting. The other person or the other woman jealous. The green-eyed monster. Someone could be jealous of you. Or you're jealous of them or haughtiness because somebody is flamboyant, um, a peacock, um, uh, conceited. Okay. You also have money at the bottom of the deck. You have money and fortune coming up in the same reading. That means you got a lot of money. You know, you are good. You are set. Um, if not for life, you definitely set for a very long time. Things are going your way. Things are going well for you. Um, someone could want to be, you know, um, be you or, or, or be with you because you are fortunate. You have more than enough. Um, you're flashy, outgoing. You you uh, have really flashy things, or it attracts a lot of um, different energy. Let's see what's going on here. You have paradise, so happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So some of you um, are in a relationship where you're enjoying your person, you're enjoying the the fruits of you guys' labor. There is somebody here who's envious. It could be the other woman. She's on the outside of the relationship. If you're dealing with someone who has like a, a next wife or a baby's mom, this could be that woman. This could be that person. It could be a sister. It could be a mother. It could be anyone here who wants what you have. You have girl talk. It could be maybe a group of women or a woman that you talk to. Some of you could be moving on happily single, living in the moment, having fun time with friends. Okay. You could be the subject or the topic of discussion. When these girls get together, you could be heavy envy, uh, jealousy, a C self-indulgence. Yeah. Focus on self, self worth, time to heal, shadow work, self appreciation. So you, you need to appreciate yourself. You need to put yourself first. You need to put some more focus in on you. Um, your self-worth is expanding. It's time for you to heal. Do some shadow work. Uh, understand. Okay, so this is like self-awareness too. understand how people perceive your uh, personality. Understand how people um, how they take you, how they get you um, how they're experiencing you. You need to understand that mass. Someone could not be showing their true feelings, hiding, deluding, personify, gaslighting. This could even be like a, a hidden enemy, secrecy. It could be you, it could be someone else, especially with the, uh, what's this, the um, waiting, the waiting card. It's like someone's jealous. They're not saying that they are. Yeah, hand of cards that keep in there. A uh, hand close to himself, not showing their hand, gambling options, risk, take a chance. This person is not showing exactly how um, they feel about you. They're wearing a they're wearing a mask. They're acting like everything is all as well, all as well. There could even be somebody who's heartbroken. This could be you. Could be someone else who's acting like all is well. There, this could be someone who's separated, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Needing to put time into themselves, needing to enjoy their single life and not think it's a curse. The Grim Reaper, yeah, some relationship is over. There are no second chances. Somebody is growing and transforming. Someone is just like, no, you know, I can't go back because it, that relationship, that person just didn't offer anything. Not today. No, not dealing, hurt, avoiding the conversation, the call or the person you, you put in up boundaries. You're still kind of angry. And maybe rightfully so. Let's see what else is going on for Virgo. It could be you. It could be the other person that you're dealing with. Yeah, somebody. Breakup, separation again. Stopping the pattern. The silent treatment. But there's somebody here who wants to rebuild. They know that they sabotage the relationship. They may even want to interrogate you. And do something that, you know, is repetitive in this relationship. Like working on it again. All right, let's see what your person wants to say to you. Maybe it offers you some advice here. This person wants to say to Virgo, 
I have things I haven't told you. I bet you do. I want to be single. So this person wants to be single. They have the things they haven't told you. I'm tired of being a husband or a wife. Yeah, that's why somebody, it's time just to separate. It's done. It's over. Don't give this person any more of your time and your energy. They want to be single. They're tired of being a husband or a wife. Even if they weren't, they were tired of showing up in that capacity. It's not what they wanted. But then they pray for someone just like you. It looks like when you finally say, okay, I'm going to let it go because you let it go. Um, now this person is saying, oh, I pray for someone just like you. This is somebody saying I'm having financial issues. I can't focus on love. And maybe that's why um, they, they want to get with you or they see you as maybe a cash cow or a way out. You know, I have to stay with my family. You could be dealing with someone who's already married or has money. They're well established. Um, let's see. Wait for me. Yeah, this person saying I got to stay with my family. But wait for me. They could be missing you or you missing them. Yeah, I give you money. That should be enough. Like somebody is asking, why do you want more from me when you know I can't give you that? Especially if I'm already married or coupled or whatever. Somebody's tired of being a husband. It's tired of showing up in that capacity. But it doesn't look like they're actually taking a chance on maybe a third party in terms of leaving their wife because she is sexy. Um, It could be that you and this person or soulmates, twin flames, whatever capacity, but it just looks as if somebody's not ready to make the sacrifice, to take the risk. This is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.